They actually had to be verbally challenged by Patrick Mahomes to pick up their game going into the second quarter. He basically told them, they're giving us man coverage looks, guys are getting open, you just need to give me the time to throw it. Sure enough, the first and second half splits for Orlando Brown Jr. and Andrew Wiley were night and day. They're going to face a similar challenge this week with Von Miller on one side and Greg Rousseau on another. Will the offensive line get out to a better start this week? They are expected to have Trey Smith back in the mix at right guard, which could prove quite important in both pass protection and the run game. But if the offense is to have a quick start in this game, they're going to need the offensive trenches to get off to a better start. Denny Medley USA Today Sports When you are playing against Josh Allen, not only do you need to defend every blade of grass in the passing game, but you need to stay cognizant of his ability to beat you with his legs too. Allen is averaging 45 rushing yards per game on the year. In four of five weeks this season, he's led Buffalo in rushing yards or tied for the team lead. Chiefs fans would have a little bit more confidence in their ability to defend Allen as a ball carrier if Willie Gay Jr. was going to be playing this week. Without him, it's going to be Nick Bolton and Darius Harris on the field for the majority of the linebacker repetitions because the Bills run a lot of 11 personnel. They'll be key in getting Allen down before he makes a big gain in the rushing game. He's tough for defensive backs to get on the ground because of his size. AP photo slash Peter Aiken the Chiefs' fourth round draft pick out of Fayetteville State is gearing up for the first start of his NFL career. He's played a few defensive snaps in week one and a key defensive snap at the end of week five. 